Do, 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobis. Mark here, and we are in the Ashina Depths, and we are working on Orin of the Water. This is, uh, this is an interesting fight. So initially, you cannot perform a death blow on her, but I'm going to show you how we do that, and we're going to reduce her health by 50%. Also, uh, I'm going to show you the best spot to fight her, and um, there is a secret chest. I actually found it while I was doing this fight. Um, it... Uh, uh, in this fight, I was performing some experimental stuff, and I came across something, so I'll, I will show you that. Now, there's an NPC on your way to the arena to fight her, and I can't get him to do anything. Like, I, I don't know if there is something I thought he might help with the fight, so if you know anything, go ahead and leave a comment below. Now, as you enter the arena, you can see Orin is standing right there. You can actually go up and talk to her, um, but you can't target her which might be a little confusing for some people, but that's okay. Walk up behind her, and we're gonna do a long press of the jump button, and you're gonna press forward on the, on the left stick, and you wanna land on her, but don't do anything else. Did you see it? And it just kinda bumps her. She even pulls her sword out, but that's okay. Don't attack her yet. Now, that will make her susceptible to a death blow, so go ahead and walk up to her. You still won't be able to target her, that's okay, but get behind her, you don't have to crouch. Um, and you should get your the death blow icon. And there we go. And we got our 50% discount, which is awesome. We make the fight a little easier. Now, when she gets up, you can actually kind of hit her maybe if you want to. Um, but that's okay. You don't have to. What we're going to do is we're actually going to run down here into this little area. There's a bridge. And we're going to try and string her along and bring her back here. Now, if you get distance from her like that, that's good. She will actually come for you very quickly. Ah! Gosh, okay, so go ahead and keep backing up, and we're gonna get her into this area right here. Those two little pockets are like the best spots for her because she kind of gets caught in here. But what's great is I think the AI gets a little confused that there isn't a large area. So you're gonna just try and swing around behind her and just keep whacking her. And she's gonna slowly turn around, and she, I, I really do think that the AI is confused because the area is not open. Um, and she has these very long distant attacks. You can see I'm using the uh, the Sabor oh gosh, what is it called? The Sabumari mod. And um, I was I was trying to see if it would help with like attacking her, and it doesn't seem to have too much of an effect on her. So if you had the axe, that might help. I don't think you'll need firecrackers, but there's not much to it. You're kind of just jumping. You could even do a double jump on her uh, if you want to try and see if you can do more damage because um, it might stun her a bit. So I'm kind of experimenting here because uh, I was trying to find different attack patterns for her. That's why I'm hopping around like a rabbit, double jumping on her and stuff. But as I was doing this, um, as I was jumping around and trying to find different ways to like maybe stun lock her or something, um, I actually fall down. Yeah, so you'll see her get stuck in this pocket. Watch, and now she will try and do one of her attacks and she kind of just like is stuck in there, which is great. And so I fell, and I was like, oh, no, I thought I'm going to die. But I, I, you don't die. You just go into the water. But look, there's a chest over there. You probably, uh, you guys probably already know about it. But for those that don't, there's a chest down here. Um, it has a little goodie in it. So let's go ahead and grab that goodie, which is some divine grass, which will be useful later. And now you can grapple here. Um, there might be another spot on the left side, actually, but once I saw this, I figured you could probably jump off the wall here and grapple, and you can. So just keep pressing double jump up the side, and there you go. You see the green icon. So let's go ahead and squeeze that left trigger and get back up there, and just keep trying lure her, because if you see... See, so if I go out here and I kind of smack her, on the bridge, she seems to be a little more active with her attacks. So it's best to kind of try to lure her back here. Let me see if I can go whack her and get her to come this way. Because by default, if you whack her, she will she will hit back. Oh, no, she got me. That's okay. Um, yeah, I should resurrect. Um, by default, when you whack her, she will usually try to hit back in those open areas. And so you just keep whacking on her. She's almost there. And let's see if she'll be able to get one more. This is such cheese. I know this is cheese. It's totally cheese. But look, it's connected to the arena. Like From Software built this here. It's not gated off. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. I do appreciate it. Thank you.